This is the Vectorworks plant database. It's built using a program called FileMaker. FileMaker is a database program. It's designed to store huge amounts of information and be able to extract them or report them really easily. The plant database, for example, has got these areas for having images. It's got a lot of information about plants and it allows you to find plants in lots of different ways. That's the purpose of having a database. The idea behind a database is that it allows you to create a what's called a record. That's this record. This is a record here. And the record has several fields on it. A field for the family name, the botanical name, the common name and so on. So what you can do is to create your own databases to store the information that you want to record. The trick is to create a field for each type of information that you want to record. Let's create a blank FileMaker database. We can create a new one and I can give it a name. Here's one I've already created so I'm just going to replace that one. And so here it is. Now it's not very useful because it hasn't got a lot of fields in it, has no records in it and it has no real structure. If you want to create your own database, you'll find that something like FileMaker Pro allows you to create your own databases and it also often gives you the ability to start with a template. Some people have already created the templates that you need and that will be a great way to get started. But it doesn't change the fact that if you want to learn about databases, you're going to have to create some. And the trick is to plan what you want to record. If you want to report plants, is this the right kind of structure or would you like to have different information that you want to record? For example, you might want to record the, the botanical name, the common name, the height, spread, true. But what about the date it was planted? Who gave you the plant? When does it need pruning? When does it need fertilizing? And so on. Maybe that information would be a good thing to record. If you have information like that already, the easiest way to create your database is to import an Excel or a tab delimited file that you've already got and use that to create your database. If we create a new database, we can use a starter solution. Now there are lots of starter solutions here set up ready to go. So if you want to create an expense report, here it is. You click on that, click on choose, and it will use that to create your solution. So these are like templates. If you want to use time billing or product catalog, and there's just a whole lot of them. Let's start off with an expense report. Choose, where do we save it? Save it into your folder. And here it is, and you can see it's all ready to go. All you really have to do is to start using it. 